Let me breathe. <laughs> mm. uh, Gavin got this truck here when he had some kids. Uh, he adopted over here and he went to, he went to Suwa and then he saw this truck going and he li really liked it. It could be good for his kids to go to school or to go to the village. And then the truck was a little bit like uh, dying away and then uh, he decided not to fix it, let it die. And then I didn't know how to fix it, so every time I have to go to the mechanic and I was carefully watching and learning and once I learn, you know, I get the things quickly. So once I know this one done, then I try to learn all the importance. And now I'm doing my on my own, and I do much better than the mechanic does. Usually it turns the whole engine. So I, I fixed the truck, I made the new, completely new tray out of it, and bodywork, and fix all the part, and do the government tax and everything. The fuel is leaking between the fuel pump. I think the, the fuel pump gasket or something which I have never seen, something strange happening and it's still running and I really like it. So when I drive the truck around town, you know, for somebody new, they just look at this truck, they just really like it. When I go towards Lombasa, they, you know, everybody's looking at this truck. So I, I know and, I, and uh, I enjoy this truck also and my family. And I never thinking of selling it away and I'll keep it uh, for years and years. It is only truck in the island, and I think I went through the internet, and I, I think they are not making any truck like this. Uh, they are double cabs, but no triple cabs. This is called triple up. We almost can get all the parts. They don't make the truck, but they do make the parts. Uh, and the similar trucks, which uh, the parts are same as this one, so we can still get it. And if there was mm, uh, no parts or something, then I'd modify and make it run it. Yeah, that's the idea, to keep it run. I cannot leave anyone just walking. I have to stop. Uh, that's my, my, my feeling, my heart, that I would stop to them and ask, hey, you want to ride, you know? If I see someone, I just cannot just go bypass them. I will stop and I give them right. Uh, that's something I cannot uh, go without. This land was made for you and me. was made for you and me. You know, I maybe I took 40 people already in this truck. They even going close to the village. I mean, they just stand on the, I mean, the railing out here, hang to the truck, and going very slow. You know, I'm careful and enjoying. Like it's like uh, something like fun with the Fijian boys around. 
since I have, uh, you know, we are seven in my family, and uh, in a car, no way I can make it. So this will be, you know, uh, till I can maintain it, I'll keep it. And uh, as they're growing big, it will be more useful for me and my family. The dog I bought with me. Now his name was Odi, and I really like him. Uh, we went to the island. I mean, I have lots of uh, memories about him, and uh, goes spear fishing with me. He, he he goes wherever I have gone. When I'm not going. I can see his, him walking on the reef the same way I does, but just running on the reef, you know, trying to catch fish. So that's some of the feeling I have about uh, OD. I miss him a lot. So, like to tell, one is the unique part of this vehicle is when I'm driving around, girls do like to ride in with me. You know, and then uh, ladies want to ride with me, and that way I get uh, get more friends, more girlfriends. You know, <laughs> driving around, and uh, so, and uh, what's the the most unique part? I'm driving a vehicle that is only one in the world now, maybe, and I'm trying to keep it. You know, <laughs> keep it going.